I have my neat trimmed foot, toes in the right place, heels back at the right place, no excessive wall height, pointy edges, sharp raggedy bits or anything like that. And he wears the Flex Boot 130 and his boots have the Kevlar coated pads in them. Um, which makes them last longer and this pad probably has about 90 kilometers on it and it's got plenty of life uh, left in it so the pads just slip into the boots they're all pre-cut so you don't have to mess around with tracing and cutting you just pop it in I'm gonna put the boot on now important do not use the TPU gator um, to pull the boot on or off and put your leg in front of the horse's knee but be directly in front so don't kind of go in here like this in case they strike forward you could fall and hurt yourself so when I'm like this I can get out of the way really quickly if there was going to be a problem like that so our inside straps done up down to the last hole so that always stays closed we're gonna slip the boot on pull the toes in and we'll do the paston strap up now again two fingers tension and you just press the strap over the ball rivet so two fingers in there and then the end gets tucked in through the keepers if your tail is really long here like if the horse has really super skinny legs you'll tuck it in through the second one as well so it's nice and neat then we will do up our back strap and I'll show you how to actually cut this because this strap with one finger tension in here you can see that it's quite a bit too long we only want one hole below the rivets here so we're going to cut it with um, scissors oh hang on what do we need to take off we need to take three holes off so we're going to take off three and i'll show you one i just did before so that it doesn't look ugly so you can just round the edges so that it looks you know more matching with the other side so I can do that later so again we just press the strap over the ball rivets we have one finger space in here now at the back of the boot you've got two options for the height of this back strap so this horse's setting is on the on the lower slits and these ones on the outside are the higher ones so most most front feet will use the higher setting and that's how all the boots come when you order them but if you find that um, you know they, there's a big gaping um, gap between the heel bulbs and the gaiter try the lower one because it will pull the boot in a little bit more towards the foot he has really sticky Audi pointy heel bulbs he's got contracted heels so that's actually not too far from his um, heel bulbs there so that's that looks pretty good